All right, well, troops continue working along the border in Nogales, putting up new razor wire along the border fence. But the city's mayor and council strongly disagree, and tonight they are taking a stand against that policy. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has the latest from Nogales. The city's mayor says he's worried the razor wire you see behind me will harm business with neighbors in Sonora. But most of all, he says it looks menacing and is unwelcoming. And now the city council is on board to tell the federal government to stop. Do I belong in a prison camp? It's that perception of this tourist from Michigan that worries Nogales Mayor Arturo Garino. He says the added presence of troops installing razor wire on the U.S. side of the border is simply unnecessary. Because the president said that he wanted a wall. We've had a wall already for 20 years. And you see that? Are you going to want to go into Mexico? Are you, because it's going, to, it's going to show you that there's something wrong. There's homes right across the street. There's children that can play right next to it. Wednesday night, city council adopts a resolution telling the federal government to take down this wire installed throughout the city along the border. Remove this wire and remove it all. Per capita, we live in the safest community in the state of Arizona. We're not going to pack up our bags and leave because there's Constantine wire in there. City leaders contend this site harms the economy. You know how many customers I saw walking down Morley Avenue? Not one customer. But Art Del Cueto, the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council, takes a different approach, saying in a statement to our newsroom, quote, it is extremely important that we have those extra security measures to defend our nation's borders. For any elected official or law enforcement to speak against protecting our nation's borders, especially those that live in the southwest border and see firsthand the dangers of what tries to breach our borders and affects our country, is disheartening. With the constant talk of caravans forming and attempting to invade our borders, it is extremely important that we have these extra security measures in place. In Garino says he plans to write a letter to President Trump expressing his disgust. And he says as long as he continues to lead this border town, he won't stand for the wire nor the president's vision of a wall. He wants a wall all 2,000 miles from San Diego to Brownsville. Okay, say he gets it. He gets the wall or the length of it. What are they going to do next? Put concertina wire up and down the whole wall from Brownsville to Texas like they're doing here? And you know what Border Patrol told me today when I met with them? I asked them, are you going to take it down? They said no. Those were their words. And Council Member Marcelino Verona said there is no immigration crisis here. He says this concertina wire is just like a shutdown lasting 35 days, saying, quote, it is just there to make a point at our expense. In Nogales, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.